Hey, my name is Dennis, I'm from Beach Moto, and today we're gonna to show you how to lube your chain. Most people never touch the chain. They just keep riding until the chain falls off, and that is very dangerous. Uh, it's probably one of the most common questions. People come to me and they're like, Dennis, can you please clean my chain? You can clean your chain yourself, and we're gonna show you how, it's very simple. The good thing about chain maintenance, when you do the cleaning, you can actually inspect the chain and make sure it doesn't have any kinks in it and make sure it's tensioned properly. So you don't want it to be too tight ever. It's always better to have it a little bit looser than too tight because otherwise you can actually damage your bike. So first thing you gotta do is uh, use proper product. We like Moto, but it's up to you. You can use any chain cleaner you can actually use WD-40 as well. It works just as good. So what I normally do, I grab a rag, I kind of throw it around the chain so it doesn't, so you don't get your fluids all over the bike. And you slowly spin your wheel and just spray the cleaner on your chain and let it sit for three, four minutes. So that's it. Now you just let it sit for two, three minutes. I usually just spray some more on the rag. We love using this yellow microfiber rags from Costco. They are the best for deta detailing the bike. They are the best for cleaning the chain, cleaning your engine, wiping your face when you're sweaty. So just about anything. So you see how nice and clean it gets and you see how dirty it actually is, even though it looks clean. So you want to spin the chain so it moves away from the sprocket. If you spin it this way, you gotta end up on YouTube with missing fingers. And it's gonna be funny, but not for you. So you want to spin it this way so the chain is rolling away from the sprocket. And just kind of gently rub it all over. Your main goal, of course, is to clean the inside of the chain where the rollers are. But you can also clean the outside of the chain uh, so it looks nice and shiny. Right, so for now I'm cleaning it and I'm kind of looking at the sprocket as well, making sure the sprocket is not worn out. Basically you want to grab the chain right here and pull it. If you can pull it away from the chain any more than this, it's probably worn out and the chain is just stretched over too far. Again, you need to get new chain. Chain health is really critical for the bike because if chain breaks on you as you're riding, number one, it could lock your rear wheel at high speed and you could fall and die. If you get lucky or you get paralyzed if you're not lucky, Number two, if you get very lucky, your chain snaps and it just breaks a hole in your engine and you lose all the oil and then you have to buy new crankcase. You have to replace like part of your engine. And it's very expensive. So better keep it tightened and looped and cleaned. This way you never have any problems. So as you can see by now the chain looks pretty fancy, all flashing nicely. So we gotta let it sit for a second and then we gotta lube it. Again, I'm putting the rag here so the spray from the lube doesn't end up on your fairing or your wheel. And I'm grabbing the chain lube. This is not normally what we use. We actually use Motul as well. But as we were getting ready to film this video, unfortunately, we found out that we ran out of lube. So just about any lube will do. It's general rule of thumb, better to use lube than not lube. So uh, again, you gotta spin the wheel slowly and kind of generously spray it. You want it to get on the rollers, first of all. Uh, so kind of 
make sure it, it gets on the chain and not on your bike. Once you give your middle part of the chain nice coat, you're actually going to spray on the sides as well. So this is mainly for just corrosion protection. It makes your chain look nice and clean. And next time you clean it, it's gonna clean much easier because there's gonna be no rust, just uh, the, the lube. So this looks about right. What I always do after I'm done lubing it, I actually continue spinning the wheel for another 45 seconds, maybe a minute. What it does, it allows the wax to settle in. Uh, and as you're spinning it, it kind of gets into all little crevices and openings. Uh, so further down the road, you get much better lubrication. And you can actually feel, even though this chain was perfectly clean before, now that I've lubed it, the wheel spins much better. Look at this. There's no tension. So that means you're rolling down the road much smoother. in a lot of rainy conditions, you do it more often because water has a tendency of washing away the lube. If you ride in dusty conditions, your bike is naturally gonna pick up way more dust. Uh, but out here in SoCal, we don't do it all that often. We do it maybe every 600 miles um, to 1,000 miles, depending on where you ride. I think if you do it every 1,000 miles, you should be safe the life of your chain will be greatly extended. It'll last much longer. And overall, you're gonna have a nicer feeling bike. It's not gonna be clunky and just worn out feeling. It's gonna feel nice and fresh. We're done with uh, this task. Uh, we'll see you next time for something else. This was Dennis from Beach Moto, and have a good day.